I started with one of these videos and used Kling AI's multi-elements swap feature to swap out the person behind the desk with a different person that I had an image of. Can you tell which video I started with and which video has a different subject swapped in? We'll get back to that, but this isn't just for swapping people. I started with this video of a red car going down the road and this image of a blue car, and now we've got the blue car going down the road in the video instead of the red car. I also gave it this video of a dog in the backyard, along with this image of a miniature horse, because who doesn't need a miniature horse roaming around their backyard? And sure enough, that's exactly what we get. Let me show you how this works. Let's do one together. Start by going to the Kling AI website, then in the upper right hand corner, click this create button, then over on the left menu, click video, and then up near the top, we want to make sure we're on the multi-elements tab. There's three options here, swap, add, and delete. We'll talk about add and delete in a minute, but for right now, we want to be on the swap tab. We need a video to edit. It supports MP4 and MOV files, 100 megabyte max file size, and a five second max duration, and either 720p or 1080p resolution. You can select a video from your history, things that you've created here on Kling, or you can click anywhere in this box and select something from your computer to upload, or you can just drag a file in, which is what I'm going to do. Once the source video is finished uploading and processing, you'll get this window. And what we're doing here is selecting the object that we want to replace. What is it in this video that we want to take out and put something else in instead? So the video I have is this woman showing off this bottle or can or whatever, and I want to swap that out for an imaginary product. We'll add the image of that once we finish this part. The two main options here are add selection and reduce selection. By default, add selection is what's turned on. So if we come somewhere in our video and click, like somewhere on this bottle, that looks pretty good. It's selected the bottle. Now we'll click preview full selected area. It'll think about it a minute and then it'll start to play through the video. As the preview plays through, the green masking is showing us what it has identified as the object. Now we could fine tune that if we wanted to frame by frame by pausing this video anywhere, going to any spot and reselecting our object just like we did at the first frame. We're going to keep it simple for this one. Down in the bottom right corner, we're going to click confirm. Next, we need to provide an image that contains the person, animal, object, or whatever it is we want to swap into the video. You can select that image from your history here on Kling if you've generated the image here. For the image option, they also have a stock library. It's pretty limited. There's not a whole lot in here, but you know, it could be fun to experiment with. Or you can just click anywhere in this box to go through your computer's file system and upload, or just drag the image in from your computer, which is what I'm going to do. You've got this little select subject button here. We'll click that. And what this is for is if your image has multiple objects or things or a busy scene or something going on, and you need to crop it in to show the AI exactly what object or element that you're talking about. We don't really need to do that since we have one object here on a plain background. So I'm just going to cancel that out. Now we need to give it a prompt. And Kling has put this odd looking prompt together here for us. And this is based on the prompt structure that Kling recommends of swap X from at symbol image for X from at video. Yeah, that's a little bit confusing. It would be like swap cat from at image for dog from at reference video. That's what they're recommending. And it seems a little backward to me, but it is what it is. So we want to swap the blue box from, and if we click where it says at image, it'll let us select it, but then it does something really fun and adds in another X from. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. And we got extra parts over here too. Let's get rid of that. So swap blue box from image one for, I guess we'll say silver bottle here and then from reference video. I'm gonna leave it on professional mode. Five seconds is the only option. One output will be just fine. And we'll click generate. Now for the prompt, I don't think you need to leave these brackets in. I've taken them out and it's worked just fine. I think they're there just as a reminder to you to replace the X with whatever it is you're talking about, whatever it is you wanna swap in and out. And you can also be a little bit more descriptive in your prompt, expanding on the basic structure they suggest, but I haven't tried getting real creative with that. Figured I'd stick pretty close to their recommendation until I get the basics all figured out. And a few minutes later, our video swap is ready. Let's see what we have. By golly, she's walking along, holding up our imaginary product in the blue box instead of that silver can or bottle. 
And what we did to create this video is the same thing I did to create that video at the beginning. I started off with a video of this tired woman behind a desk, gave it an image of this dude, and then the prompt said swap man from image one for woman from reference video. So if that question has been burning in your mind, now you know the woman was the subject in the original video and I swapped her out for the guy. Now in addition to swapping, we can also add. For instance, I took this stock video of this woman walking, gave it this image, and using that add option, he He's added to the video walking right beside her. I also took this video of this guy walking on the railroad tracks and I wanted to try to add more than one thing, in this case, more than one subject. So I gave it the image of the tired guy from the office and I also thought, let's see how it does with mixing styles. So I gave it my cartoon guy. And this is what they look like walking together on the railroad tracks. Now, there's not a lot of facial expression in either of the characters in the back. I don't think either of them blink. But aside from their faces being kind of stone-like, the rest of their body movements look pretty good. And that might be an area I could improve with more creative prompting. I basically used their template for using the add feature. I just added a little something at the end where I said, so all are walking together on the railroad tracks. This works very similar to swap. You upload the video you want to edit or pick it from your history. Then you choose an image. It's still got this box in here from what we just did. And the prompt template that it puts together down here is using the context of blank seamlessly add X from image one. And once you upload a video, then in your prompt, this using the context of, you would have reference video, or you can do the at symbol to add the reference video if it doesn't pop in automatically. We also have the delete tab up here next to swap and add. Upload or select the video that you want to delete something from. Just like in the swap, it'll have you brush over the thing that you want to delete. Then in the prompt, just replace this X for whatever it is you want to delete, whether it's the man, the horse, the car, the cow, whatever it is from. And this at video should change to at reference video once you upload your video. If it doesn't, just type the at symbol and the reference video should pop up there right beside the at symbol when you type it. That's what I did with this video of this man looking out over this valley on this nice peaceful day. I decided to get rid of the man and sure enough, he's gone. I don't see any trace of him there whatsoever. And it did a great job of filling in whatever he was previously blocking from our view. This generative AI stuff is just getting cooler and cooler every day. I hope you found this helpful or at least entertaining. I appreciate you hanging out with me and I hope you'll come back and see me in another video.